Welcome to the first episode of Value in History. My name is Kibi Copeland, President Fee Kimba, Youth Organization for Reparations and African Development, and I'm your host. What are we talking about? Let's find out. In the beautiful land of many waters, home of a people who are diverse and rich in culture, with its population being divided into six races, Africans, Amerindians, East Indians, Chinese, Portuguese, and a mixed race, our country's motto being one people, one nation, one destiny. One would ask, what is the origins of this land and its people? History is taught and preserved through several art forms, practices, teaching, institutions, etc. Such as poetry, music, movies, social and traditional practices, schools, storytelling, monuments, statues, museums, paintings, and most of all, people. On this episode of Valium History, we are going to take a look back into the past by taking a tour through a history preserving institute and that institute is no other than the museum of african heritage said to be the first of its kind in the caribbean located in barima avenue bellier park georgetown guiana originally called the museum of african art and ethnology was founded in the year 1985 with the purchases of collections of african art of mr Robert h nicholson and mistress desri malik these collections were annotated and accessioned through UNESCO by Dr. William Silverman, curator of African and Oceanic Art, Brooklyn Museum in 1992. The museum was declared open in 1994. Since then, donations from local community have continued to include art and craft brought from the African community here in Guyana. The museum has collected pieces from the Borough School of Art and other day today artifacts from local communities. In 2001, the museum was renamed the Museum of African Heritage in order to open their doors to a wider audience and begin to fully address the African experience in Guyana. Question, what is the mission of the African Museum? Who's responsible? Who manages this museum? The Museum of African Heritage is a non-profit institute created by the government of Guyana to collect, preserve, exhibit, and research art and artifacts relating to Africa and the African experience in Guyana, and to disseminate this knowledge through its outreach program. The Museum of African Heritage today falls under the Ministry of the Presidency, Department of Social Cohesion, Culture, Youth and Sport. Ms. Jenny Daly, the appointed administrator, manages the day-to-day -day functions of the museum, accompanied by five staff and three volunteers. But more than when the museum was founded, why and how it functions, what is found in this history vault? As is mentioned earlier, the Museum of African Heritage has a wide collection of arts and artifacts relating to Africa and the African experience in India. Much of this collection are examples of the kind of art objects found in West Africa and there to educate us on the meanings and reasons behind African art and traditions. Some of these are forms of some of these exhibits were brought from Africa directly together by Mr. Nicholson. From African musical instruments, neck rests, masks, African games, domestic tools, enslavement artifacts, sculptures, animals, African symbols to information on slavery, slave rebellions, reparations, monuments, statues, etc. One of my personal favorites, and ideal to start with, since we are talking about history, is the Sankofa bird. Sankofa is a word in the Twai language of Ghana that translates to go back and get it. San to return, ko to go, fa to fetch, to seek and take. And also refers to the Ashanti and Drinka symbol represented either with a stylized heart shape or by a bird with its head turned backwards while its feet face forward carrying a precious egg in its mouth. Sankofa is often associated with the proverb, So wo where fina wan Sankofa a yenkia, which translates as, It is not wrong to go back for that which you have forgotten.
Another favorite and more popular artifact is the African drums. Traditionally, the drum was the heartbeat, the soul of most African communities. Drums have been an intrinsic part of African life for centuries and for countless generations. An ancient instrument used to celebrate all aspects of life. They are used as an alarm or a call to arms, stirring up emotions for battle and war. They can also inspire passion and excitement and even cause trance, a momentary loss of consciousness to either the drummer or the listener. They symbolize and protect royalty and are often housed in sacred dwellings. They are protected during battle. On the other side, drums are about communication and making music two essential characteristics of community life. For centuries, the talking drums were a primary source of communication between tribes, used to transmit messages, sometimes across great distances. This next artifact I wouldn't call a favorite, but is also very popular and known not for its benefits to the African people, but to our destruction. The slave shackle. Plantation owners and overseers use heavy iron shackles to punish and humiliate def defiant enslaved Africans, both men and women, and especially those who try to run away. Enslaved Africans who have been sold were also shackled while being moved to another location. Arm and leg shackles were the most common type of restraints, but stocks, neck collars, and the ball and chain were also used. This pair of iron leg shackles is typical to the kind used on the southern plantations in the 19th century. And when we talk about history, it is our history that African people were enslaved and brought to this part of the world, Guyana, with shackles and chains on their necks, on their wrists, and on their ankles. We were brought to work on the plantations and fields over a period of 200 years or more. And this is our history. So, a people without knowledge of their past history, origin, and culture is like a tree without roots. Marcus Garvey. Habari Mimini Kibi Copeland Nina Furua Kukutana Wewe. My name is Kibi Copeland, and it was been my pleasure to share all this information with you on a value, valuing history. I hope you've learned something. If you did, share. Until we see you next time. Why here we do not attend